What's up guys? My name is Daniel Hayner Moda and I am wearing my favorite Dragon Ball Z shirt ever and I don't give a crap. Anyways, let's get started with Dragon Ball Z Super Episode 2. Let's go. Um, I did like Vegeta's vacation. Vegeta went on a vacation this episode and it mainly talked about Vegeta going on vacation and it felt like some sort of slice of life anime and kind of um, what happened, I guess, what they are doing after Majin Buu is defeated and what they're doing with all the peace going on right now and all this safeness going on. And I mean, I loved it with Vegeta there. The only part I didn't like is when he pushed Bulma away from him, but that that's the only little critique I had. But he does seem like he is a better father than what he has been in the past and he is significantly improved and he does care about Trunks and... Even though he may not show affection all the time, he does mean he does mean it in his own way. And the best part of this episode, the best part, Vegeta gets pissed at the guy. He gets pissed at the um the musician guy and he uses full key. He uses his key and he knocks everybody away and then runs out. Just runs out. And Bulma and Trunks expect it to. They just expect it. And then when they're eating too. That that was that was perfect. That was just perfect. Having seeing Vegeta eat be like, oh, no way! So much food! Yeah! It was it was priceless. You actually get to see some emotion actually shown in Vegeta this time, which was great. Then we get an advance on what Beerus is up to. Also, he does seem to go to this planet with these weird animals. And at first I thought it was like some filler crap scene. Like, and I was really upset with it at first. Like, why are you even showing this? to us and it does seem somewhat relevant and I called it to in the episode I said he's gonna one-shot him gonna one-shot him gonna one-shot him gonna one-shot him gonna one-shot he one-shots that guy he takes him out and uh, beer is ah oh, beer is bro bro you don't remember what Super Saiyan God looks like and now he's heading to another planet of some sorts also and we get to see Whis use his magical wand to do whatever he wants to I'm not exactly sure and um also with next episode it seems to be everyone's getting together having a little gathering again and no real advancement with the plot with Battle of Gods and I mean with ba Battle of Gods coming up I mean how exactly is the storyline going to be different also my point of view on this is this is a different storyline from the ending of Dragon Ball Z. This is what could have also happened at the end, and this is just another ending for it. I just, that's my opinion, and that's just, this makes me feel better when I watch it, I guess. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this episode. I kind of like Goku training a little, but I do like seeing Vegeta train a lot more. Anyways, guys, make sure to like, comment, and click that subscribe button. And peace out, guys.